Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about the 5 best variants in Planet Dominus Garden Warfare 2. Now, variants are what you see here. You got Electric, Fire, vamp Vampiric variant, Toxic Electric, you, you know, Ice. Those are the variants we're going to be talking about. There's a lot more to it, but we'll just start, we'll just head into the first one. But I will say, some variants are better depending on what character you're playing, like for example, Fire pea shooter versus barbecue corn. Barbecue corn is probably gonna win. Obviously, it's it's really not a challenge. And then you have toxic brains versus toxic chomper. I mean, obviously some characters are better even though they have the same variant. So just keep that in mind when we're you know rating these. So we're gonna do these in order from the worst of the best to the best variants so let's get started with the first one so the worst of the best variants coming in at number five what i had to say is the armored variant the armored variant typically gives you a little more health but sacrificing a decent amount of speed and it gives you a little more damage so for example a usual chompers chomp usually does about 25 damage but armored chompers does 45 But he sacrifices a lot of speed, as you can see. I'll go ahead and try and do a side by side for here real quick. And one of these characters, for example, is the Petrified Cactus. Petrified Cactus does a lot of damage, but as you can see, it is slower than the original Cactus and has a little more health, though. So as you can see, Normal Cactus, depending on where you hit him, headshot or not, 25 body shot, 30 headshot, let's see. The Petrified Cactus does between about 11 to, you know, 40 damage, depending on where you ex hit the explosion. Coming in at number 4, we have the Toxic Variant. Toxic variant to me is just the fire variant, but way worse because it only does two damage per second. Let me go ahead and show you this real quick. And it also sacrifices some damage in the process. So while P shooter, original peace shooter may do 35 up close as direct hit, toxic peace shooter only does 25. Body side is when, when zombies are close, they'll take three damage a second instead of two. But if you just shoot them, from far away, as you can see, they're only taking two damage. So really not that good compared to the fire variant, but it, it's it's still decent. Now, compare this with using toxic brains. To be completely fair, though, people only really use toxic brains not for because of this variant, but because you know his damage. I mean, look at this. When you get the toxic overload, I mean, it's crazy. Now we've got number three, we have the charge up variants. Now I know I'm using electro citrons, technically it's electrical, but just forget the electric, just the charge up. For example, electric, electric citron, when you hold down your attack button, it charges up an ability. This makes it so it does a lot more damage, but it consumes a lot more ammo and it consumes a lot of time. Look at that. When I get up close, 60. These variants can be pretty good depending on who you're playing. Electric Citron isn't really a great example for it, but you can charge them up, so it works. Another example is Cosmic Brains. However, when you use Cosmic Brains, you can set people to the Shadow Realm. Our second best variant is definitely the ice variant. The ability to freeze a character or a player on the spot is a great ability in any game. For example, when you verse the Eddie, what's the most annoying part? Him when you get too close to him and he frees you on the spot, just like that. 
Pitcher can't move, they can't shoot, they can't do anything. It's really good when you pair it up with like a chomper or something. It's like they're goofed, but they can't shoot. Now, this variant usually does sacrifice damage as well, so it is kind of annoying, but you know. If you're gonna have a pro to something, you're gonna have to have a con somewhere. I'm pretty sure there also is upgrades you can get for these variants that actually make it so you free people quicker. Not 100% sure on that. But, I mean, I think that, that there would be something like that. Never mind, I'm thinking of Garmin for one. <laughs> and the best variant in Punch Zombies Garmin for two is gonna have to be the fire variant. Now, a lot of people are gonna disagree with this. Yes, it does sacrifice damage, but the ability to do after afterburn damage is crazy. Because what is someone going to do when they get low? Look at this Citron. Imagine this is a real life player. They, what's he going to do when he gets low? going to go into his ball and run away. If you get him low enough, and he goes behind a wall, he still he can afterburn damage and he'll probably die from it. Now again, just like every other event, this just depends on what character you're playing, the actual strength of it. For example, combine the fire variant with a pogo P, like fire P shooter and using hyper at the same time, that is just crazy. Combine afterburn with cricket star or barbecue corn and you get tons of DPS. That's gonna be it for today's video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you wanna see more. Tomorrow's video will be top five weakest variants. Make sure to come by and check that out. Hopefully these videos helped you a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.